One of your favorite guys. The Tampa Bay Bucks. That could have either been sarcastic or real, depending on who you're talking about. Well, we'll, we'll go with the real one first, then we'll okay. talk about the sarcasm <laughs> next. 5-11 and 11 last year, Dirk Cutter lost his job because they could not figure things out. Uh, division championship odds, plus 1,200 this year, which means basically not going to happen. Strength of schedule, number six, toughest in the league. Their turnover margin was 31st, so second worst in the league. Uh, minus 18 was their turnover margin. They're over under is six and a half this year. Six and a half. Kind of crazy. Um, I think it's a lot of trust in, in this guy, who I think is one of your favorite guys, head coach Bruce Arians. He takes over the job. I was a little surprised he came out of retirement for this one. I am too, man. The juice on the over under, by the way, which is six and a half, is minus 110 both sides, over or under. Yards per play, they were number two in the league last year. They averaged 6.3 yards per play. They were kind of boom or bust, right? They A lot of big plays, but that's going to happen when you got Mike Evans and, and Deshaun Jackson, those kind of guys. Offensive coordinator now is Byron Leftwich, who was uh, the Arizona offensive coordinator two years ago? Yeah, with, with Bruce his yeah, first with Bruce. year. Yeah, getting that um, see job. They signed wide receiver Brashard Perryman. That's about the only offseason acquisition they did. They lost wide receiver Deshaun Jackson, so that's not going to be good. Uh, defense coordinator is Todd Bowles. They were number 31 in yards per play defense last year. They gave up 6.1 yards per that play. That will be better. Todd Bowles is a is a professional football coach. Yes, he's the former Jets head coach. They signed defensive tackle Nadama Kinsu. They signed defensive end Shaquille Barrett. They drafted linebacker Devin White from your LSU Tigers. They are a projected favorite in only three games this year. I like Bruce Arians. I think that Jameis Winston costs them games this year, as he has done every year from like dating back as far as you can go. This is his fifth year. He It's a contract year. He, they got to figure out, do we want to pay him? Do we not? Et cetera. I don't think that they decide to pay him mega money. I think they're going to be better. I think they are 7-9 and nine this year. I think Arians finds a way to limit the mistakes, but sometimes you just can't coach turnovers no. out of J- There's nothing Arians is going to do to stop Jameis from throwing the ball to the other team. Yeah, You, you can call whatever play you want. Jameis is going to snap the football, and it's going to be in his hands at some point in time. And whatever happens in his brain is going to going to happen. Yeah. Now, Gerald McCoy losing him, I think in Dominican Sue is an upgrade from Gerald McCoy. They're both on the back side of their contract. They're only getting one year deals, and they're gonna have to prove themselves every year because of their age and the miles on them. But I think in Dominican Sue, when he shows up to play, he he can he will wreck an offensive line. And and I think I think that I'm I, I think that's an upgrade. I think adding Devin White, I but but forget about my love of Devin White and my like for in Dominican Sue, Todd Bowles is the upgrade. I mean, they, yes. they haven't had a defensive mind in Tampa at this level in a long time. He's a professional coach. He knows what he's doing. Him and Bruce are close. They trust one another. I think Bruce is going to leave it to him, focus on the offense. And and I got him 6-10, and 7-9. and nine. I think you're right there. Um, they're going to be a game or two better than they were last year, just strictly with the stability of coaching if they finished 8-8, eight and eight, it really wouldn't shock me. It just wouldn't surprise me. I can't tell you where I think those games will be. Um, you know, maybe I've got the, the the Saints a little inflated and they can win a divisional game or something like that that, that, that I don't have them winning. Um, yeah, I mean, O.J. Howard at tight end. I mean, well, no, know. the offensive skill players are, I mean. They got, they got Chris, great skill. Chris Godwin, every fantasy reporter for the last several years has been saying, this guy's going to break out, this guy's going to break out. If he don't break out this year, he ain't ever breaking out. Okay, yeah. but but Mike Evans going to take all the heat, and it does not matter. He's too good of an athlete. He's going to go up and get it, um, as long as Jameis. I don't. Makes it I don't catchable. think that they are as good as far as uh, their offensive yardage. I think their efficiency will well, go up. Yeah, but you can't you can't look at that stat because once again we talked about this earlier. It doesn't take into effect the turnover is not just an incompletion. Right. But an right. offensive I, yardage I, I'm saying they're gonna be better as far as their efficiency goes. I think. They're gonna be better at every aspect of the game that matters to winning football. Yeah. Only I don't think they're good enough to get over that well, lump at quarterback. That doesn't, that doesn't mean they're going to win all their games. It just means they're going to be better at all of those Yeah, they'll, they'll be better than their 5-11 and 11 record last year. Correct. So, all right. 
That's going to wrap up our AFC and NFC South previews. As always, you can find the other ones on the podcast, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, etc. You can also go back and watch the videos on YouTube. Go check those things out. You can find everything you need to over at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you visit tunicatravel.com. Visit our buddies down in Tunica. They've got some exciting things going on. Six incredible sports books. Tunicatravel.com is the place to go for that. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.